turn around, I want to see myself. Hello. Hey guys, um, so pretty much we just want to do a really fun but very short video. We bought this uh, 2017 uh, Coachman, I think it's called uh, Clipper. It's uh, 17 feet long, including the hitch, everything is like 20 feet. We got this about like a month ago. Before we pick it up, one of the biggest concerns is like we're just wondering whether we can tow it or not. I'm gonna show you really quick our vehicle. We actually have a 2016 Infiniti QX60. One day when I was uh, in, in the dealership, when I was doing service, I asked them like, hey, how much can I tow? They tell me uh, 3,500. Don't, don't even try if it's more than that. And I look up online, they were like, um, if you know, the safety uh, way of towing, like you don't wanna tow more than 80% of your total um, towing capacity. I was like, ah, it's very, it's very tough because 3,500, you need including the uh, the crew, the driver, the passenger, the bicycle, everything. I mean, it's just really hard to control. We're definitely looking for something as light as possible. But you know, even the pop-up camper gross weight is like 25, 2,000. So we were like, um, we need a bathroom for sure. We want uh, this kind of look, and we don't want to pay for the premium for those, you know, the aluminum bodies or those uh, advanced design. So this is kind of like getting into our attention. Uh, the dry weight on this is like 27, give or take. If we keep the tank dry and we keep, you know, as minimum supply as possible, uh, we can control the weight, the total weight as at around 3,000 pounds. But another day, when I was searching on the internet, I find a forum, actually there's no forum for um, QX60, uh, surprisingly. Uh, I don't know, it's just like, there's not a lot of uh, outdoor uh, topic about this QX60. I found a Nissan Pathfinder, which is exactly the same car. Uh, the tow capacity is 5,000 something. I was like, um, it was the same car, um, same, pretty much same design, same structure, engine, transmission, everything the same. There's no way, you know, the, the Pathfinder can tow 5,000, but uh, QX60 can only tow 35. So I find out the menu of this car, I take a look, it said 5,000 pounds. That's the towing capacity. It was a little bit spectacle, but I was like, I really want to get the, the travel trailer. Uh, this is a used one, we have a really good deal. I want to give it a try. Um, so I, uh, but also one thing I want to add on is like my QX60 doesn't have the tow capacity. I purchased the additional class four tow hitch uh, from e-trailers. Um, I love I love e-trailers. I mean, they have really good videos. A good shot of e-trailers, although they didn't pay me or for anything. I just appreciate all their videos, appreciate their uh, effort. Uh, you know, all those pickup trucks, you actually buying the drop hitch, you know, which is the, the ball is lower. For me, I have to buy the, the riser. It rise up the, the height of the ball so that it level the trailer a little bit. It won't be like all look like this. And also I add in the brake controller, the seven pin connector, all those goody things for uh, towing. I rent a, a Tundra, a Toyota Tundra, got this trailer back. Along the way, it was like sm smooth as hell. I mean, it just like, I couldn't even feel that I'm towing something. Uh, that gave me some confidence that this trailer is quite light. So another day we come back home, we hook it up with the QX60. Uh, we gave it a try. Actually, the QX60 sacks uh, a little bit uh, between one and a half inch to two inch. Um, and also the front raised up a little bit. You can definitely feel the, the, the trailer and the car. It was like, oh, that's my dog, what's up? Sorry. Uh, they were like doing this. And uh, if, if you're driving slow, if there's potholes, you can definitely feel it's like hopping. It's not that... Uh, pleasant to drive actually but before that I look it up I YouTube I googled I couldn't find any video or um, or even forum or article about uh, the, the towing of QX60 so I just find this very interesting um, and, uh, since I have done it I just want to really want to share with you guys what's my experience what's the realistic ex expectation for the towing of QX60 so question is can you tow with the QX60? Yes, for sure. Um, 
make sure you add on those uh, either you have the tow package or you add the tow hitch uh, the, the seven pin connector and also if you're towing something heavier I definitely recommend it add a, a brake controller but um, how's the performance I will give it a three out of five you know if you're towing anything less than 2,000 pounds I think sure no problem but it's more than 2,500 you can definitely see the car is sagging a lot on the on the back wheel I think the suspension is just not built for those and uh, the ground clearance and everything else the car is more for um, uh, sporty so to say compared with utility and so I, I actually took my QX68 do off-road um, a few times minor off-roading it can handle it you know off gravel uh, a little bit rocky it's totally fine but it's just like the ground clearance is not that good your forgiving height is very limited if you're towing something heavy as long as the hitch land on the, the ball actually you can see the car was like dipping down um, Along the highway, I tow it, so far I tow it three times. Um, they all like an hour and a half drive one way. Travel on highway for 55, I definitely don't try to uh, push any faster than that. With the brake controller, with everything, um, I think it's controllable, it, it's pr pr pretty nice. I will say it's safe. It would be definitely better if I add a weight distribution bar. Um, it, so far, it's just my impression, again. Yes, you can tow with the QX60, but do I recommend? I don't recommend to tow anything too heavy or heavier than 2,500 pounds. That's pretty much what we do. I hope this is the first QX60 towing videos on YouTube. <laughs> That's pretty much the main purpose why we're doing this, this video. And actually, I want to show you a little bit on my trailer. All right, so this is our travel trailer. Just want to give you guys an overview of this, including everything is like 20 feet. We have pretty much a bed, a dinette, a bathroom. I think it's a dry bathroom. If you guys are interested in the in the trailer, we'll do another video about you know what we did on into this trailer. Actually, it used to be just a, a trailer queen bed. I purchased this from uh, I think Lois. I asked them to cut it to this side and it's simply just plug and play and I we convert it into a, a, a king bat because we got two kids they can play around you know as long as you make sure you put on some uh, uh, protectors on the corners so they won't bump their head this is just a sneak peek of what's inside my wife and I we are totally newbie this is our first travel trailer we never told before and uh, yeah so far so good um, the guy who sold me this told me the first two years he only take it for two trips. I would say for the first month we already did it three trips already. I'll say it paid out a little bit, uh, but we'll see. We'll see in the long run. Again, I don't want to take too much time introducing about the trailer. Today is mainly for the QX60 actually. All right, so this is our uh, daily drive. It's a 2016 Infiniti QX60. It's a big SUV. It have three uh, three row of seating. But the thing is, like you can see, it's not very high. It was like uh, I think it's 6.5 inch uh, ground clearance, and the the car we got it doesn't have the the tow package. I bought it from E Trailers. I think it's called Draw Tight. Um, it's actually very easy. They have a really good video about how to install this and I purchased this is like a riser so that the trailer can sit flash on this Also, this is a seven uh, pin connector uh, Actually the wiring and everything is very easy to do I'll show you guys what I did on the brake controller as you can see It's very easy. It's actually you just put in a device down here uh, do some wiring and actually I wire this thing along here and put it put this here uh, while you're driving it's actually calibrated with your your brake already or you can push or twist um, manually to apply brakes so if you want to see a installation video I can we can post another videos all right so this is pretty much it. Um, show you a little bit on the trailer and a little bit on the on the car, the QX60. Again, 
if you guys like to see more videos like how we do the tow, how we convert the, the QX60, what, what we plan to do in the future, comment below or let us know. Uh, we'll make, we'll spend more time into uh, making videos and show you guys how we do with this, uh, this towing rig and doing this uh, travel trailer thing. Thank you guys. Peace out.